Um. So, yay, we're here. How's Hi. it going, guys? It's been, holy crap, like, I think... Perfect maybe? sound. He says perfect sound. That's because we're in Paggy's studio, so... That's right, I got that I got that perfect sound in here. After about ten minutes, he remembers how to enable the built-in microphone. Um, it's a very high-tech music studio. It's it's far... It's, us, it's usually used for far more impressive feats. A lot of URLs. Oh, yeah, why not? Yeah. Hey, you guys can post URLs in here, but don't... Don't post any gross stuff. Also, there's... Don't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> also, there's a pumpkin. Why do you have a pumpkin in here? It's silvery. Because it's tis the season. Yeah. It's the season for, uh, for, Halloween, a pumpkin. for Halloween to have happened. <laughs> um, so, yes, you, you, you've you noticed in the back there are several turns yes, of wires. Some of them work. Uh, they plug in to and fro in every which way. Uh, so, yeah, th you guys, thank you. I see someone was talking about the near future... You guys like the album? We're just like um, we've all been uh, just reading, you know, your tweets and, and Facebook messages and emails, and they're just amazing. Like I, I know, you know, I, I'm speaking for myself when I say that, like, you know, this is, was kind of crazy couple of years, and especially the past, you know, few months when the album is done and we want you to have it. It's been so like I just want it to exist in the world. Um, wouldn't you say, Chad? Yes. Chad agrees. Yes, he would. <laughs> so, the answer is yes. The answer um, is yes. So, okay. Um, they're there. <clears throat> First of all, let's do some show and tell, because I know there's a couple people that probably still haven't gotten it yet, in which case this is actually really mean, but we're going to do it anyway. Because, yeah, we got our copy here. It's huge, ginormous little sticker. It says free download code. Because it comes with a download of the entire deluxe version. Pretty awesome. Um, this, is, this is our Ustream unboxing video. Now, you guys know, you already have these for yourself. But, some of you may not have seen the uh, glow-in-the-dark record. What? What? Whoa. What? Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Actually, Look we should like go. we should leave this on the lava lamp or something. We'll probably not actually have a lava no, lamp. No, we should probably not. <laughs> That's uh, actually no. the opposite make of what we should do. Right <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, so we we should charge this up with a light or something so that you can show it glowing. Do you have any flashlights? Flashlights. Uh, <laughs> what no. kind of a music studio is this without the flashlights? Wait, I do not have that. One. Here, I'll just you don't want to put it right on there. I was doing one of these. Yeah, oh hold God. it up to the light. He's Packy's holding it Look up to the light. Look at my butt. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Yeah, so that is to be clear, that is the glow in the dark record. So that's uh, that's not the standard version. That was the at the one hundred and twenty five dollar Kickstarter level, I believe. Uh, the the regular records are much more green, green green blue. We ended up uh, with a kind of swirl. Did we get it glowing at all? You're not gonna be able to see it glowing because gonna... the computer's gonna light it up. So that's okay. Anyway, this, this is our unboxing video for the Not <laughs> by Dragons record. This is Packy Mayonnaise YouTube slash Packy Mayonnaise. <laughs> Look, it's the record. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Come on, bro. Uh, so there's it folds out. It folds out. There's three. There's three, and your names are there. All right, this is devolving. This is how I melted some glow in the dark. Yeah, it's pretty much. It's gone. Don't just don't even think about it. It's gone. The record is gone. Um, also, I don't know if you guys have seen, but we've got these cool posters. Uh, for the record release show a week from uh, Saturday. So uh, it's coming up very soon. We're going to play uh, music. We're going to play music from the new record, old music. We're going to play all the music. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, that's another thing. Um, so yeah, any, uh, any questions about uh, the record or the project or any like sort of Stuff but you can just go ahead and ask him in chat, and we'll uh, we'll just kind of answer them as we go. Any kind of advice you might need? Just now is now is the time. Yeah, if you ever to wanted know. to ask Hari for life advice or cooking advice, um, specifically, 
I think that's... Uh, I think saw us at Warped Tour Tampa and was in the Zelda beanie. It doesn't... Uh, I'm not a question, per se. <laughs> awesome. Very cool. And Warped Tour Tampa uh, was fun. What? It's true, I'm getting hung up on grammar here. Awesome. Um... Wait, okay, so more questions. There was one about the vinyl the charts. Vinyl charts. So, so it's more about making yeah, it on the well, vinyl charts. Here, so here's the deal. We'll see. I hate to get anyone's hopes up because I don't know for sure. But um, we did register with SoundScan as a mail order store. So the Kickstarter uh, vinyls do count as vinyl sales for the Billboard charts. Uh, which means that uh, come tomorrow or come next week, we'll have at the minimum... Uh, over 3,000 uh, vinyl album sales of the record, and hopefully more, you know, depending on people that buy this week, and, and there were also pre-sales. So uh, the hope is, uh, and I actually don't know if that will be enough, you know, it's kind of a crazy time of year, and special box sets are coming out, but uh, hopefully that will put us somewhere up on the vinyl albums chart, uh, and I believe we would know that next Tuesday. So we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. But we're, we're hopeful. That would be a really funny little quirk. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know if you guys saw, we are um, number nine in the rock category on <laughs> iTunes at the moment, which is sort of funny. There's uh, an odd assortment of other folks up there. It's like us and ACDC, Slipknot. I think there's like a Cat Stevens yeah. back love or something. <laughs> Cat Stevens something is just, number just 10. Beating us. You know. What about that question? All right. Uh, can you record the concert on the 20th for those of us who can't attend? Yes. Uh, we're definitely... Link One of the awesome things about Lincoln Hall is they uh, you do they do multi-track audio recordings so we're definitely gonna get the whole concert audio wise uh, we're also gonna have some video as well uh, probably at least one song and maybe kind of just the, the video of the night overall what's wrong with Chad Ari what'd you do then sorry <laughs> sorry guys we're we're way behind the chat. But I, uh, I, I think I spot a. We spot a will post in a here. A will post in the chat. Uh, <laughs> asking about what Ari's what favorite are you salted, about? favorite salted Hello? snack is. <laughs> well, well, I don't know. Ari, do you well, want to feel that? that be? What's that your be? favorite salted snack? Could be a pretzel. I enjoy a pretzel every now and then. It's pretzel man. You heard it from from the man himself. Not a big crackers guy. No. Pretzels, pretzels. pretzels. Did you, uh, All you right, sorry, we're we're, we're way behind, but I, wanna, I don't want to miss uh, questions. Uh, did Wait, you... we got a meme here. Uh oh, <laughs> we got a meme. We got to open the meme. This is why we enabled URLs, people. Let's see if it's gross. Oh, oh no. Not... Play, Play all, all the music. music. Cool. Nice. Thanks. Cool. We're gonna do that. Um. And uh, I so yeah, I think that that would probably actually build in the chat, even just judging by the question. Um, and this, the chat may have moved on since then because, as I said, we're lagging behind. All right, we'll, we'll try and go. What was the one about recording? Something about uh, recording the okay. first time. First time we did it. Did the, you record the, the with the original producer? What were the differences? And stuff? Yeah, I mean, we we had recordings of uh, I want to say like it was ninety plus percent uh, tracked. It was not mixed or anything, but. Uh, there were versions of the entire song cycle, um, and uh, what else? There was, and the actually the side two was very different though. There was that's about right. Half there the songs were, different were way songs, different. Songs, yeah. Um, so we had that tracked, and then we scrapped it all. <laughs> and what you what it, what we ended up hearing is actually kind of a totally different direction um, that we went in, which was very, a lot more kind of organic, and the four of us doing doing a ton of the arrangement. Um, just hacking it out over the course of four months yeah. um, in our practice space. Like we were, we started recording our practices and then listening back. Actually, a bunch of the, a bunch of Chad's favorite fills. Chad has a habit of playing something and then not remembering what he played. Um, so like the the big fills at the end of um, Time to Fly. Do you remember that? Oh yeah. yeah <laughs> we yeah. Uh, we were we were well, we were arranging Time to Fly and we were like, gosh, with the last chorus we need to you just kind of bust it open like something different, um, and and so we just kind of ran it down once and Chad played just the coolest like. I don't remember. Yeah, but you don't remember this experience now. Do you remember this happening? <laughs> this is exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> It doesn't we didn't record that experience. No, it's true. But because we were recording, we were like, all right, you know, go back. And he was like, oh, I don't remember playing that. But it was just the coolest fills, and those are the ones that are on there. It's like one of my favorite drum parts. Okay, next question. Uh, the Pizza Man 
keeps fucking up their rice. Uh oh. Hari, what do you have to say about what? that? What? Yeah. What are you trying to say, bro? No, the rice. What is this? What's so you got it right. Bro, why does my rice always turn into mush when I cook it? You're from a South Asian culture. You so can understand that. Clearly, rice. I know. That's because you're using too much water. You want one cup of water. Don't no, two cups of water for one <laughs> cup of rice. Elementary. Cooking what? lessons with Hari. <laughs> anyway, hi, Avocado Kun. Hello. <laughs> Again, not really a question. But hi. Greetings. The answer is hello. The answer is hello. Um, oh. On a scale of one to ten, how much do you love your fans? Uh, you know, this is tough. Are, are we are we going ten? Are we going? Are we gonna try Chad, and say Chad like eleven? Got, Chad got asked cute? that in a in an ambulance once. Which, well, hold on. <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, how much do you love your fans? Yeah. Well, no. So we're I mean, in an ambulance. By how much? It was a pain. Oh no, it's true. true. Oh, <laughs> this is a good story. This was uh, Warp Tour 2012. We were in Buffalo, and so Chad went out for Buffalo Wings. Uh, with Travis and, and a couple other uh, sound folks that were yeah, out yeah. there. Um, and then that night, uh, just had the worst, like, raging heartburn. But at the time, he just thought he was dying. And so we took him to the ER, and <laughs> the lady said, on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, how bad's your pain? And he's like, 50. <laughs> <laughs> and she just looks at him. Because <laughs> it's like, this is ten Buffalo, days, New York, ER. <laughs> And he's there with some really bad heartburn. Well, I was throwing up. <laughs> he was, yeah, sorry. He was sauce. throwing up the bubbles. <laughs> but at the same time, the lady was not impressed no. with his 50. If you're watching, you're a bitch. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Chad's message to everybody watching on the Ustream. <laughs> are we recording? I hope it, oh, I can be taken uh, back Yeah, no, we are. We are. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We definitely be cool. quoted on that. Cool. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, uh, what man has decided to change up the chorus of Chicago? Uh, that was actually kind of during those sessions, those four months where we were just kind of um, recording, uh, arranging stuff ourselves in the practice space. Um, I think it was actually, not to keep picking on Chad. But uh, I think it was Chad that said, like, you know, as we were looking at songs and cutting songs and changing songs, said, you know, like, what about Chicago? And, uh, and I think, Packy, your reaction was kind of like, yeah, but I, I don't know, like, I'm, that track is so... Oh, right, right. I wasn't sold on it then, because I, I, it seemed so burned out. And it was time, well, the and, track specifically, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, the track specifically wasn't all that, wasn't all that... Uh, Um, you know, that halftime beat. I feel like that first time we played it, when we were like, what if we, I can't remember who suggested yeah, it even, but yeah. someone was like, what if we went to halftime, and then brought it back, and we were in full time, <laughs> and we played it once, and we were like, okay, Amazing well, that's going to go on the album yeah, now. Yeah, that's the answer <laughs> to that. Um, would you rather uh, fight a hundred duck-sized dragons or one horse-sized dragon? I'd, I'd heard, I was asked a question yesterday. Dragons, though, though, is a horse-sized dragon? I mean, uh, it's gonna it's bigger than a duck. You are a hundred yeah. ducks, though. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a tough question. What God. would we? What would we have? What to sort of weapons do you get? Also, because you have a you have a weapon that's friendly towards multiple opponent fighting, or are you? It's only they're only duck sized. I mean, you just need like a shovel or something. Dude, but ducks can be mean. What time signature is the chiptune battle thingamabob? And that's a fun one. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's 4-4 four, four with measures it's, of 7-4, I would say. Uh, but, but individual. No, it's, I, I think of it, I think of it as 7, it's 15. It's a, it's <laughs> a 15 beat it's true, phrase. It repeats. It's 15, a 7 four, and really. then an 8. So it's like 7-4 and then two bars of 4-4. Four, four. Right. So. It's uh, a 15-4. Yeah. We took it to the next level. It's a 15-4. You're gonna, you're gonna go ahead and want that fifteen four. <laughs> um, all right. It used to be in four. It oh used yeah. To be a, it used to be a sixteen. That's another phrase. great point. But I was like, let's fuck this up a little bit. In the, let's drop something and make it fifteen. Yeah. In the first recording sessions, uh, back in August September two thousand thirteen, it was in four. It was in straight four. And then one of the it was one of the things, Packy. Actually, before we even got back to the practice, oh, yeah. you were yeah. like. 
you know, we'd have... I, well, no, I, that's right. I woke up one morning. Yeah. I think I had a dream, and I woke up, and I was like, bro. I texted Brian. I was like, bro, battle in seven, and then eight. And then I promptly went back to sleep. But I got the text, and so... He got, yeah. I was like, totally. I, I get it. And we, I love it. I think that it's kind of, it kind of keeps it pushing forward yeah. in a way that it yeah. didn't before. It was sort of a little bit too even. Um, wait, okay. Stupid boner pill commercial. Not a question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, what we got? Um, Here, I'm scroll forward. Uh, Good God, why that time signature? Oh, we got to answer that. UK Europe tour? Uh, man, we wish. The, that's sort of been on our dream uh, list for a long time. That and Japanese tour, I would say, are the two things that, like, yeah. so we would love to do yeah. if we got the opportunity at some point. Um, Apple Rock 687, what sort of bands inspired you? You know, I like the band well, on... <laughs> well, there was the... the Huckleberry bands, Finn. Yeah, the Huckleberry Finn band. The, uh, uh, I the, retaliate the, against the, that. The, the foie gras. The uh, foie gras uh, band, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. the way that they stopped those food producers from force that's really what pretend is about. It's actually. about the foie gras, gras band <laughs> in Chicago and, and other places. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess there's ads happening right now, so... Uh, oh. Uh, at least for some people. He just doesn't like math. Anyway, how's your boner doing? Because, brother, have <laughs> I got the answer for you. <laughs> boner pills ads. Also, I give classes on GarageBand and Apple Store. Can I use the Splice as examples? Yeah. We would love to be the example of uh, yeah. how to splice an, an things. An example of how awesome you are in GarageBand. <laughs> yes. Actually, I mean, it's funny. I, Here's I, the record I made in, in GarageBand. Yeah. <laughs> Just whip this up right now. <laughs> um, I will say that's that. someone said that, that they like they found the stems super easy to use. Like, cool. they just opened them up and tossed them into GarageBand. Mm -hmm. And that's like... Awesome. That's, that's exactly I mean, that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. You know, we yeah. just separated them out. We didn't get like super granular this time in mm -hmm. the past. We because our our tracks themselves can be like a hundred tracks. Yeah, I can get silly. So we busted it out into drums, bass, guitar. You know, so it's uh, not like uh, every cool. single confusing chip tune mm -hmm. bit on its mm -hmm. own track, um, which can be impossible to use. Oh, so yeah. people can oh, now yeah. listen. I think my favorite comment about it was that people can make their own Chad solos because um, you can mute all the other tracks. <laughs> Uh, I don't believe we will have. I don't. I do not believe okay. we'll have stems for the the future imperfect. Probably not. Uh, the difference being, so a lot of the ones on the future imperfect are demos. I mean, they're various qualities of demos. Some of them we actually did, you know, in in various studios. But because they were never sort of fully finished, uh, some of them we only have MP3s of, or their like stems are almost very silly. Because if you listen to the individual yeah. part, it's Brian going like. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the thing's gonna go. No! Yeah. <laughs> we laugh, but I actually have done stuff like that on demos for a long time. In the uh, demo of in the scratch tracks, actually for battle, uh, in the section where Hari's slap bass comes in, and it's like the you know the Geiger counter pedals, like. <laughs> um, I would say chaos. Because we were calling that the chaos section. And so, like, in all the demos, in the scratch tracks that we took into the studio, that could, we took what we did was when we were recording the practice space, we then took those individual scratch tracks into the studio to, to use when we were recording. So, for, like, well into the actual studio recording process, it still oh, yeah. said chaos, chaos on the track. Did, are there stems for the rest of the album, too? Or was it just for the song cycle? The rest of the album. Some, they're all up there. Yeah, there there should be stems for the entire album. Yeah, it's all it's all there. Yeah, they're. All you won't get there. it for it's, uh, Sarah Ninja Bear Anderson. Uh, so you should be able you can't to get have Chicago, Chicago yeah. but not Hero. Right, and actually, Hero the the reason, main reason you don't have stems for some of the Cyborg Liberation sessions is they were actually done uh, at a studio down in Champaign, uh, Illinois, and so we Urbana. Were, sorry, yeah, yeah. Champagne, Champagne Banana. Um, so we, we, a lot of those are sort of the, the, where we left off with the song, so we don't actually have finished parts of it. But Chicago, all the ones on the back half of the record, No Strings, Chicago, Jimmy and Sally, actually, I, I think depending on the version of the stems you have, I actually even had to cut that up into two files because it's gigantic. Um, so, all right, what made us add part of Bernadette into Jimmy and Sally? Funny you should ask. Uh, so... In the first recording session, Bernadette actually was the first track on the second side of the record. Um, and 
it was sort of trying to, to loop it all together and make the second side a bit more coherent or, or make it, you know, a, a thread through the second side of the record. Um, in the end, we ended up uh, redoing the second side and opening with no strings, which I think is way better and I think works mm -hmm. works for the record, absolutely. Um, but I left it because I kind of liked it as sort of a meta callback. Because <laughs> if you remember, Bernadette was the song we released when we launched Project Atma. So it was kind of like taking it back to, uh, you know, when the whole project began in that way. So instead of sort of calling back to the beginning of the first side of the record, it's kind of a meta callback to, you know, the people that were there at the beginning of the project in that way and recognizing it. And it's on the future perfect. And I still do think it kind of, the two songs echo a similar message, you know, in different ways. What, uh, what's up with Chaz Moisturizer? What the hell are you guys talking about? <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> what? Kind of, on, on the Facebook post, when I was like, come to our Ustream, I said we'd discuss the near future and Project Atma and what brand of moisturizer Chad uses. Well, of course. Uh, what brand of moisturizer do you use, Chad? I don't. Chad <laughs> is naturally moist. You heard, that be, you heard it here first. Spread the word far and wide. <laughs> naturally moist has to be like... Just one of the worst phrases. Because moist is already one of those words that everyone hates because it's CBD. disgusting. Um, how many people pre-ordered the vinyl outside of the U.S.? Um, I think it's actually four to five hundred, somewhere in there. Um, and actually, that's a good point about the Billboard vinyl album charts. So of those 3,100, four or five hundred won't go on those charts because they're outside the U.S. Um, let's see. Uh, IFD World Tour Kickstarter possibility. Could be in the works. Uh, I, a few of you guys might know this, but there the, we do have a secret plan kicking around, which is not ready for uh, prime time yet. But uh, we want to tour this album, and we want to construct a method of touring that you know takes advantage of, of crowdfunding and, and routes where you guys want us to go and stuff like that. It's not ready yet. We're we're still a bit occupied. So ways out. Getting the record and getting it out, but um, but it's definitely. Uh, on the docket and stuff like that in the future. Um, and yes, uh, Kendall asked about password. There will be a password uh, for this Ustream. We're bringing it back. We bring. Actually, that's a good transition. Um, let's see. Uh, let's blast it real quick. And if there's any more questions, because we're going to move on from the question portion of the evening to talk about the Advance Guard, which a lot of you are probably which, watching yeah, from and, the Advance Guard page. Yes. And Sir Spork, the, this will answer your question about. Spreading the word of the album. Yes. So as we move into Choo-choo, all aboard the hype train. I support that question. It's one of my favorite questions as an exclamation point at the end. That's, <laughs> that means it's a loud question. Yeah. Um, so, uh, okay. I think we, we caught a lot of the questions. WWE? Yes. That looks like a good question. How do we react when the WWE wanted to use money for oh, yeah. their pay-per-view? Uh that was awesome. It was crazy. <laughs> These guys, it was crazy. <laughs> Becky got mocked by Jerry the King. Jerry Waller. the King Waller made fun of me on live television, and it was the greatest <laughs> moment of my life. Yeah, MBD. Um, so, I'm all right, try to find that video. Yes. So, um, first of all, I want to talk about. So that's about all we can say about the touring. There's going to be more, but yes, someone even mentioned. Uh, Choosing what we want to, or what you guys want to hear, like songs. Essentially, I don't want to give away too much, but we're trying to find a method of touring that, that allows you guys to direct where we go, to direct what we play, in a sense. I mean, not you're not going to have full control. We still get to pick what we want to play. But, um, but have you guys have influence, and you guys have like kind of uh, control over the show itself and, and making it something that we all kind of build together. So that's coming. That's, it's, I, I don't want to say too much because it's still a ways away. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I do want to talk about um, going to, or the Advance Guard, which is starting back up. So a lot of you guys are on the Advance Guard page. I bet a lot of you uh, were members before. Some of you may not be. New members, welcome. Um, so we actually have not done much with the Advance Guard for the past two years. And it's crazy to hear myself saying that, that it's been like two years since we did these Ustreams and quests and everything. Um, but uh, a lot of it was uh, stuff that kind of got shut down when we were, uh, for financial reasons, we were spending a lot of money sending cards all over the world and um, and all this stuff. And, and also just for purely practical reasons, you know, once we started doing the Kickstarter and uh, and working on the album, that was very all-consuming. But um, but I know a lot of you guys have wanted us to bring it back, and we've wanted to bring it back. Um, 
And so we are. So we're starting light, we're starting little, um, but you notice the quests are back up. Uh, there's only a few right now. We've, we've trimmed it down. We're, we're not doing the download cards right now just because those are super expensive to ship Like, because they're a big chunky thing. So even if you're just in the U.S., it can be like five, ten bucks per package and lots of people request packages. Um, but we are doing still the cards. So Guardian cards, uh, you know, Knight cards, Commander cards, um, the T-shirts, uh, you know, with, with those, and again, those are not free T-shirts, but it's the right to purchase a T-shirt. Um, you know, which, which is still pretty exclusive. Uh, but it, it's primarily starting, this is a quest for the Ustream, so uh, I didn't mention this yet, but we are going to give away this glow record. Oh, Whoa! shit! Um, um, yes, the link on the download card still does work. Um, choo-choo censored! <laughs> choo-choo censored. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, but... but uh, uh, we're going to give away this glow record, uh, and the way we're going to do it is by uh, giving you a password. So this is the way the Ustream quests work. Um, we give you uh, a password. We have to decide, for those of you that haven't done this before, part of the fun is deciding what the password is. Um, and then you guys email that. Well, once we give the password, you guys email that to quests at ifightdragons.com, um, and that gives you the 25 GP for uh, completing the quest, for completing the Ustream quest. That's how you complete it. Um, and we'll probably do that and wrap it up since we've been going for about a half hour now. I know people... The password have... will not be fart nugget. Nor will not it anymore. be silence. Wait, I think it already was silence once. Was it? <laughs> yeah. People had to, like, send nothing or bracketed silence. Um, all right. There's a rule of thumb that the customer always comes first. Somehow with banks, the customer always comes second or third. But at Capital One, we're different. We believe that you come first. Shocking, no? So our 360 checking has things like no fees and no minimum balances. Fee-free ATMs nationwide. It even pays interest. What are we thinking? Well, about you. 360 checking from Capital One. What's in your wallet? Visit CapitalOne360.com to learn more. There's a rule of thumb that the customer always comes first. Somehow with banks, the customer always comes second or third. But at Capital One, we're different. We believe that you come first. Shocking, no? So our 360 checking has things like no fees and no minimum balances. Fee-free ATMs nationwide. It even pays interest. What are we thinking? Well, about you. 360 checking from Capital One. What's in your wallet? Visit CapitalOne360.com to learn more. <laughs> Type four if you're here. Sexy pizza in French? I want that. Yeah, Brian, your hair looks awesome. <laughs> you know, it's a bit of a hat hair, you might say. <laughs> four. Okay, they're here. All right, here we go, guys. I got the mailbox open to count to 20. The password... You want, to, you want to give this? The password is wet Chad. <laughs> One more time. The password is wet Chad. <laughs> wet Chad. Wet Chad. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I'm going to pull that up. All right. We got some coming in. We're getting there. We're about to hit 20. We're close. And the emails are pouring seven, in. Eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And we're getting closer. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And Becca Brooks. Becca Brooks! Your email number 20. Wet Chad. Repping that wet Chad. So, I'm going to reply to you right now. Cool. So you're going to send us your address and what to write on it. Congrats, Becca. All right. uh, actually, quest, quest singular also forwards to quests because we've had that so many times. Wet Chad. Moist Chad would have been too obvious. I'm surprised I mean, it's all going to spam. <laughs> Usually when I receive you know, any number of emails with the subject and 
text being wet Chad, I think this is a real message. Don't you, Chad? Sure. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, so, <laughs> what are you doing? Just look at uh, Oh, 27 new messages. Look at Uh-oh. Look out. Okay. And there, don't worry, guys. We'll, as, as in the future, we will continue to give away things on future use streams. We're going to do these once a month. Um, speaking of advanced guard stuff, we actually talked, I talked with a bunch of the advanced guardians, um, the higher ranked folks uh, recently, uh, and, and talked about what, you know, what they want to see in the new version, what you guys want to see in the new version of... <laughs> We're trending. Wet chat. Um, wet chat. Um, what you guys wanted to see, and one of the big things people said was they missed the UStreams. Um, and so we're gonna we're gonna get back to monthly UStreams. Um, it's fun for us to do. So if you guys want want us to do it, we'll keep doing it. We'll give and we'll give stuff away at every UStream because that's always just fun to have a password, you know. And you you make new memes like wet chat. <laughs> Chad, you know, Chad Solo was once a password too, and I, I recall someone that made a picture of uh, Han Solo with Chad's face on. Um, so, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We're also uh, we we got more ideas too. We may do other events. I kind of want to do a, like a, a Twitch stream where I like draft magic or something because I do that, and I could use an excuse to legitimize why I do that. Um, not particularly good, but it's just fun. Jackie, um, but uh, hashtag Chad Solo, hashtag West Chad. You good there? That's yeah. That's the status of Chacky. That's the current. Anybody asks how Chacky's doing, I say. That's all. Cool. Just answering the questions. Just answering the internet's questions. Um, so yeah, so the other things we talked about possibly doing uh, were uh, events. We actually, there's a cool thing we did once, way back in the day, called Blog Talk Radio, where it's like a call-in show. Oh, yeah. We considered, yeah, doing that uh, again, or that just thinking of different cool events. So we'll start with the monthly Ustreams and kind of go from there. You know, if you guys want to keep tuning in, we'll keep uh, doing stuff. Um, all right, so... <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was great. In in Dino, Indy no wins. That was fast. <laughs> All right, we All have right. to play a song now. Yeah. Back, grab that banjo. All Chad, right. Chad, grab that banjo. This is what Chad was playing earlier. All right. No, no, Chad, you're playing the banjo. Come on, though. you were playing with you before. It's great. I know. Let's do it again. All right. Take him away, toys. I got other. With you. With. All right. Wait, all right. Talk Maggie. about that. With, with you. <laughs> you got to grab that banjo. Let's, right. let's get a, Let's get a, like a picking version of one of the new songs. All right. What, what do we got? <laughs> Um, we could uh, do a Chicago. In Chicago, yeah. Okay. Get, get your thumb pick. <laughs> Battle is also requested. I do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Joe Beck. Yeah. 
we're in a battle now. We gotta fight these guys. I've gotta kill them real good because if we're in a battle now, we gotta punch them out. And it is gonna suck if we don't. Cause we're in a battle now. to the phrase dueling banjos. <laughs> oh! Oh! Goodness. Look at that. <laughs> all right. I can read all these now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, you are awesome. Thank you for listening to the album. Um, yeehaw. <laughs> um, yeah, and keep up on the advance guard. If you want to do any quests there, we're going to get flyers up for flyer and quests soon. Um, and we'll keep coming at you with you streams and, and yeah, thanks for listening to the album. Thanks for telling Disaster people about it. <laughs>